For hands of gold are always cold, but a woman's hands are warm. For hands of gold are always cold, but a woman's hands are warm. What is up, guys, and welcome back to part 16 of our Trial of the Seven Kingdoms Let's Play. You remember last time we took the village of Then, securing ourselves to have now three castles, or three cities. We hold the Twins, we hold Pike, and we hold Then. Um, our next target, hopefully, once we recover a little bit, will be the Dreadfort. Um, our numbers are... Oh, well, we took a beating. So now we're going to peace out. With the free folk. Consider making peace, paying... I don't want to pay them tribute, though. That's the problem. That's my issue. Why, why should we pay them? They have 301 men collectively. 301 strength. I think if we just hold this village for a while... We'll be good. We'll get to the tournament. We'll get to daytime and we'll participate in a tawny. We haven't had a tawny in a while. We're getting Valyrian Steel Mail in the Wildling Village. That's interesting. Weird place to find that type of gear. Alright. That actually looks super cool. We might wear that as a <clears throat> bit of a change up. I want his axe. Axes are simply better unless you're into cav. So for this cab dude, I will use the spear. And when we get back into a melee, it'll be back to using my axe. All right, axe time. We get in here, we do some damage. All right, spears at the ready. 70 damage right there. And that's why we swapped the spear. Right, Simon Ironbelly is down. We'll take his horse. We'll ride in. Try to thin him out a bit more. With a cav skirmish. Ah, axe. Whoop. Aha. I think most of the people we're fighting right now are actually our guys. Alrighty, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, ba bang! Now block. Honestly, our axe combat could use some work. We're not normally an axe fighter, we use swords. As Garland is a professional swordsman. Oh, here we go. Pike battle. Against a Knight of the Vale. You should have far better spear skills than that as a knight, sir. I will take your spear to prove that I am better. Now I have two spears. Bye, baby, I love you. Say so bye-bye to fiancé White Cross. Ah! No! No spearing my face, I shall have speared your face. You shall be defeated by the spear. No! Oh, God, Jesus! That was my face! God, the Umber Rider uses the spear better than the damn Knight of the Veil. I take issue with this. Ugh. Men. Countrymen. We had literally almost all um, named characters in the first part of the tournament because we've got all of our people up here. Il Guy the Hawk. Something the Alone. Some interesting character names. What can I say? Alright, let's just wait it out and we'll just recover some manpower. If they come and siege us, they'll lose. 
They will not be able to take the city. They just don't have the men. And my men are just going to keep recruiting while we're sitting here too. Mance Raider with his 20 men. You know what? That's great. This is a good enough time. Uh, I want these guys to have a little bit more um, men before I just set them. Actually, oh, 89 dudes. I'd have to hunt that party down myself, I think. So that my men didn't incur too many issues. I'm expecting a peace offer from them, but they're not sending it. Um, Alright, we'll break up the army. Disband. Our men might scatter and get some extra recruits. Allowing them to defend more effectively. That party of 89, I'm going to go hunt down myself. Because that means my men won't get caught up fighting them. Yield or fight? Bedek. Bedek Dundarian. Except it's not. Ah. So the good thing is we didn't actually have to pull all of our vassals. We retained a lot of our parties in the south. So they're just down there recruiting at the moment. Which is good for us. I say vassals. We only have one vassal. We have a bunch of parties. That are part of our faction. And then we created our own vassal out of one of the lords. We should have made Flemont Bitter Drought the vassal. I don't know why I didn't. The man has been with us since the beginning. Become quite skilled in the ways of medicine for a soldier that never knew how to do medicine before we hired him and threw him in the surgeon role. Alrighty. Infantry here. Cavalry. Defend the flanks. Will they come to us or not? I don't think they will. We've got a pretty decent hill. They're probably running, yeah, running back onto the other hill. That's about what I expect. Uh, they don't have that many men. All units. Attack. Our archers will be in range long before our infantry reaches their line and they'll just start opening fire as they approach. Our cavalry should honestly hold for now. Well, not hold, but they should follow me. Bring the cab to me. Because I'd like them to hold their engage for when the enemy cavalry goes in. We don't have as many horsemen, but we might have a, a better squad than they do. Deploy each cab squad to the side of me. Form up, man. That's it. Look at these epic, epic lads marching forward. Because the enemy is just hiding way the fuck over there. Move up, lads. I think I just sent them across. Yep. Nah, whatever. Three is left side, four is right side. There's the archer fire whittling off. They've got 15 archers, so I'm not overly concerned about their, the threat of archers moving in on me. Okay, their cab's moving in. Our turn. Move our cab forward and we'll be able to freak him out a bit, I think. That's it, lads. Our cab just charged straight through their infantry. Not preferable. Now our infantry line meets theirs. And we should just cut through them like butter at this point. We did lose a Stark Footman. Not what I was expecting to be losing there, but whatever. Expert Eleftheroi. These guys don't even belong in Westeros. They're from a different universe. They're from Calradia. Not Westeros. No Westerosi knights. Calradians. Who are you? 
Oh, I found the cav battle. Big ass sword! Big ass sword! You're in the way of my slashing. Thank you. Ow! My horse! You hit my horse! That was fucking rude, bruh! You're gonna die, clown! I have a very long sword. That guy also hit my horse and must die for it. Ah! Yes! Knocked over. That's the guy. He hit my horse. Got him. Ah! Keep pushing, men! Force them from the field! Defeat their remaining forces! The King in the North! King Garland of the North. A man hell bent on reclaiming the Southlands. He will one day become Warden of the South and North. We have no interest in the Westerlands, aside from to claim revenge from when they crushed our house. The Starks I'd like to not go to war with, but I know it's inevitable. They will jump us once our peace treaty expires. Oh look, gain some extra dudes. Cell swords don't like I'm not a fan of mercenaries. Mercenaries cause a lot of issues. Benny's a Lyle Royal Guard. Are they a melee troop or a archer troop? Don't know. Um, Umber Warrior, sure. Umber Rangers, Mandalay Men at Arms. I don't like mercenaries because they lower morale. And I like my morale being high. Northern Armed Traders. And Traders and Caravan Guards, guards don't really upgrade properly. It's not really worth picking them up. Sure, I, like, don't get me wrong, I could pick them up and take them back and dump them in the garrison. But honestly, most of those guys there were cavalry and putting them in a garrison is just not that effective. Why would you put horses in a garrison? Think about it that way. They don't get used in the siege battle. The AI doesn't make use of the fact that they have horsemen in a siege. Do you think they could ride out and flank the enemy as they're trying to break through the wall or something? That'd be cool, but... Alrighty. So, we defeated one. We'll come back and we'll dump him in the dungeons. Looks like our men around here should start gaining control of the area properly. Arena. We've got another arena. White Kingsguard Helm. I didn't mean to slaughter criminals. That was a button? Oh. Oh, this is the arena. Right. 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 I get it, guys. Alright, I'm only sometimes stupid. <laughs> Woo. Uh, no sir, sorry, I don't want to kill prisoners today. I'm here to actually deposit some. Please don't kill them on me. I'm trying to improve people's opinions of me by not murdering their people. Although with the mercenary clans, what I should be doing realistically is capturing them and then releasing them so they like me more, so they'd be more willing to serve me over other lords. But sometimes, I'm just not that big brain. No, back to town center. Right, uh, keep. Dungeons. Enter the dungeon. Wait, why could I not donate? Hold on, did I accidentally sell my dudes? For fuck's six. Or did we somehow not capture him? Maybe we just didn't capture the Lord of the Eleftheroi there. I don't know if that's actually how you pronounce that. So I'm sorry if I'm butchering that and anyone actually knows how it's pronounced because I have no clue. 
Right, it's a made up kingdom. I'm gonna pronounce their faction however the fuck I want. Uh, one prisoner is there. Kyle of the Aletheroi. Kyle. So, do I not have. I do! Right there! Confusion. If I have him, why can I not put him in the dungeon? Alright, well. See, look. Uh, dungeon limit exceeded. Oh, it's got too many prisoners. <sighs> Didn't even know that was a thing. Alright, we'll just sell everybody then. Um, we can recruit some wildlings, sure. Our max party size is now 700. We'll compete in the... Damn it, I keep pressing the button! I think I can just walk up to this dude and ask to join the arena, the tournament anyway, but Jesus Christ, it's such a roundabout way of doing it. Don't you guys love my content? The 30, 40 of you that watch me? No, I love you guys. Thank you for all the, all the support. It's very appreciated. I like I like getting comments. I had a guy called uh, Max. Max has been watching my stuff for ages. I think that's how you pronounce it. Apologies if it's not, but... Um, yeah, Max, uh, unfortunately he said he got COVID and told me that that's why he hadn't been watching my content. And I'm sitting here like, oh man, like, you know, you've got COVID. That's, that's way worse than missing my content. Trust me. I and mean, if anything, you're, you're lucky. You don't have to watch my content. It's, it's, it must hurt your eyes to see. You don't need to be sick inside and out. <laughs> nah, nah. I hope you get better, man. Um, genuinely. Uh, there's also the... You should have a look into the effects of long COVID as well, which is uh, what I believe from what I've looked up. Don't take any of this as pure medical advice because it's not. You'd be an idiot to believe me on all of this. I just go off what I've seen so far. And some people that do have long COVID is that you can get like symptoms like bad uh, memory, foggy head, um, and you get things that just go on and on and on for ages. Like... like uh, prolonged symptoms even after clearing actual COVID if that makes sense oh god I can't see bro oh Jesus people spawned in out of nowhere it's not the best start to the tawny if we can all gang up on this dude and I can stop this Mandalay infantry from interfering wow dude Mandalay infantry armor is disgusting give me that dude's axe if I have to burst anything with that much armor again, I'm screwed with a, sh with a spear. 59 damage. Denny the Alone? Sorry, I know you're on my party, but you've also just got to get out. Stark Warrior? You ain't got shit on me. White King's Guard Helm. We're going to look saucy after this battle, alright? Garland, King Garland, is getting a makeover. Ah, Flemont, you have always been a worthy adversary. Ah! Ah, you will be missed, my friend. For these men do not compare. Who shall challenge me now? Oh, Cedra the Wanderer, they've also been with us for a while, except we kind of decked them out in some saucy armor. Oh, I mean, she's not even got the actual good weapon. She's on the bow. Well, that's depressing. Cedra. Oh, no. Sorry. Yeah, she's here. It's alright, Cedra. We shall face off in a true epic 1v1. See if she can top her predecessor, Flemont. Apologies, Cedra, but I feel you did not challenge me as as Flemont did. Flemont Bitterdrought, having challenged Garland more than Cedra, who still made it further in the tournament, mind you, will be rewarded by being made a vassal of these lands. We'll give them the next castle that we take. Well, actually, I plan on taking the Dreadfort for myself and giving Flemont the twins. That's my plan currently. 
Actually, no, I'll, I'll keep the twins because it has more villagers. I make more money off tax that way. See? Big brain. All right. Um, Smithy, we'll go trade, sorry. And we'll put on this new gear for ourselves. So we got... This is technically worse, but like... It looks kind of baller, though. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see, because we've still got this to chuck on as well. It's three weaker in body armor, but it's way stronger everywhere else. Literally everywhere else. Actually, no, that doesn't look that great. We support that with that. Oh, yeah, dude. King Garland is jacked. Man's is a absolute roided out knight. We got some new warriors in here. We should give them some stuff. Here you go. You can have this and you can have that. Sure. Um, you got any better boots? Any better boots for you? There you go. Um, don't have any better gauntlets, so it looks like you ain't getting better gauntlets, but you kind of have some. You don't have gloves, but you got gauntlets. Give you a a shield. We can't have you run around with no damn shield. It's kind of embarrassing. Get rid of this cape because it makes you look stupid. Oh, that's a cab shield. It's too small. There you go. That's a better shield for an infantryman. Weapons. We'll give them a... Whichever one of these is better. So if I give her this. Okay, yeah, that was the better choice. There you go. It's not bad for somebody that had nothing a moment to give. You, sir, you look like you also wish to wear somewhat decent armor. We're in the north, you can keep your scarf for now. Makes sense. We'll chuck some civilian boots on the lad. Give him a sword and chuck a shield to the dude. For now, that'll do. Harmon, the prince, and the other guy got a little bit of stuff. Oh, we should probably be selling this stuff, but I keep just mind blank. By the way, did I make that um, archer dude a actual archer in the formation, or am I just stupid? I might just be stupid. I might say that a lot this video, because goddamn, am I feeling it? Right. Um, hogs, chop them into meat. Cows, chop them into meat. Sell everything else because it's all trade resource. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell this. Another eight grand. What? 1.02 million gold. We are jacked. All right. Let's ride out. I think Fen is in a pretty reasonable position. Actually, Fen needs a governor, doesn't it? Wait. Oh, I don't have to manage it because I made the other person the commander of it. That's pretty convenient. I don't know how smart that was, but it's convenient. I have great faith that our men in the north will effectively clear up that area. We must ride south to see our wife. Should we hit up these, these as we go? Let's hit up a tawny as we go. The tournament. The arena. Lannister Royal Armor. Hmm. It's tempting. But we are not Lannisters. And therefore shall not wear the garb of a Lannister. Granted, we're not exactly White Harbor Knights either. But. We look way better in this gear. I don't want to be wearing Lannister stuff. I plan on doing a Lannister playthrough at one point. Laswell of the hand. Sure. But yeah, I don't plan on... I, I do plan on doing a Lannister playthrough as well once this mod releases in 7.0 because the, um, the next version of the mod is going to implement a lot of the new Bannerlord implementations like Siege Fixes, um, all, sorts of, all sorts of stuff. It'll just make the game much better to play, in my opinion. Much more playable. Teon was attacked by Tormund Giant 
this bane near the fist of the first men. Well, I hope he didn't lose. He was captured! I hope he didn't lose. Gets captured. God damn. Alright. Teon, you've lost privileges. You are clearly a dog shit commander and need replacing. You're losing a battle against a war. You're losing a war against men that don't even have a home anymore. The fuck are you doing? Prince Viserys Targaryen. The Targaryens declared war on me? Okay, I actually think we're stronger than they are. I think we could fucking eat House Targaryen, I'm not gonna lie. We're still sort of at war with the Free Folk. Alright, I I don't think the Free Folk are going to take the city in the north back. So what I'm going to do is ride south, collect as many men as we can, and I'll wait to see what the Targaryens do. Will they gather an army and strike us? Or are they just declaring war on us because they're in a shitty position over there? J note, aside from, you know the guys we've been fighting, the Targaryens are probably a good target for us. They don't actually hold that much um, land. So they're not that powerful. And if we can get their territories over there and we lose over here, we actually have an area across the narrow sea to retreat to. So this series won't just be over when we get destroyed inevitably by the Northerners when they get sick of our warmongering. Pick up some more recruits as we head south. Oh yeah, sure, I'll pay the ransom for Teon. Goddamn Teon. He had one job. Alright. Something I want to do. What do we got? We don't have much as far as parties go. What I'll do is I'll go clan. Someone that at least deserves his own party is uh, Flement Lord Flement you will be gifted your own men well should we give him some men I don't really want him getting jumped we should give him some weak some like recruits and stuff Probably got a bunch of those somewhere here. Um, there you, go. you can you can have this, sir. At the very least, you've got a party of men. And then you can run off and recruit all that jazz. We're gonna head back and try and pick up some more Ironborn recruits. Viserys Bitter Drought is traveling to Starfall. Recruit. Okay, there's no units here. He just pinched them all. I suppose they are his units, technically speaking. Alan the Grizzled gained a level, apparently. Good job, Alan. Keep marching this way. Pick up more men. Our army must maintain its strength. You hear that your companion, T on the Loud, is here. Is he now? Get back in the party, you fool. Goddamn idiot. Damn, the garrison in here is not bad now. Very cute. Oh, I can't take garrison troops. I really shouldn't have made that person the um, Lord of both cities. <clears throat> sort of limits what I'm able to do with them. But she has bolstered that garrison up so that it's going to be much harder for them to siege down Pike now. Could be about 500 men in there. Oh, 
We re-emerge just in time to grab all of those Rivulence heroes. So these places down here actually give Rivulence recruits, which is interesting because they're part of the twins but they're Riverlands culture. So the only spot you can actually recruit Freys is from the Twins itself. I kind of want to go for a quick adventure into the Vale and pinch some of their men. Who knows, we might spot out a really big Targaryen army on their way to us. They sort of have to come this way anyway. Generically speaking, they tend to do that. I have to come across a big old land bridge. We should go for a crusade and see how many of their men we can crush. You're going to recruit some high tier guys in here, so I'm just going to run through. Bam. Get me some Vale House guards. Head to Ressos there. Get even more men. Lord of Bones party near Thend. Liara the Shield Maiden had a decent force. Unless those guys have really picked up their game, I don't see how they're winning those battles. I suppose Tormund's probably been recruiting for a while now. A true army of Westeros will be formed. We'll go. We'll go over there. We'll see if we can take a couple stabs at them while they're trying to build up, or we can at least test out what their strength is like currently in Essos, because Essos itself is quite large. Hosta Tully of the Riverlands declared war on us. All right. Looks like we're not going over there. Looks like we're making an instant fecking break for our home city. And we're going to go bop, 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 bop. I wish to gather all men to me. We're going to have to rush to the twins because I guarantee there's an army moving on it. Check the she-wolf. Get in the army, lady. We got shit to do. Let's go. Joanna the Black, let's go. Sejun, the alone. Sir Hugh near Oldstones. Oh, that's unfortunate. I think he's going to lose that. I don't know why. I just get this really small feeling like he's just not going to win that. What if we just take Seaguard, like, right here? They're doing whatever they're doing. They've got 328 men here. Theon Greyjoy of the Ironborn. Oh, god damn it. This is going to get extreme. Wait, Flemont won his first battle there? That was kind of intense. I don't know how he pulled that off. Right, what I'm going to do is just straight up assault this castle. If we can take um, this castle off of them, we might actually sort of help ourselves because there's only really one avenue for assault once we take this castle, and it is this castle or the twins. Um... If we can catch their army in the field around the Twins, I think we should actually beat them. Although, we've got to remember, the Riverlands archers are amazing. That's why we've been using them. So, our normal archer off might not go as well as it normally does. Although, we have upgraded archers. So, maybe that pulls in our favor. We'll see. We need to find out next time on Dragon Power Z. Alright, B 
Begin the assault. No dicking around. Get to the ladders. To the ladders. We have no other form of, ass of assault other than them, so get to them. There's no fucking around in this assault, man. That's it. Get up there. Those Vale House guards we recruited recently might come in fucking handy for this siege. Get some stronger type men up here on the field. Two-handed with ice. Push up the ladder. Get up, lads. Go, go, go. Hi, daddy. What are you doing, Lila? This could get bad. Very bad. Very bad! Ah! That's it, lads! Slash them down! Oh, bro, they've just got such a good position up here. How are you supposed to deal with this? Do you deal with this, or do you just die? Like... Answers, please. Game. Ah. This castle's such a good defense, dude. Ah. And we're down. Wow. Um. Well, shit. That's not okay. And these guys, look. See, this is why we need the fucking siege fix. If you did this in the new patch of Bannerlord... This wall would be taken already because they'd be using the ladder. One dude went up the ladder behind me and just shoved me until I fucking died. It's basically how that battle unfolded. Let's fast forward this and just wrap it up. They don't have the men to hold us. We are going to win it. We're losing far more men than I'd like to during this siege, but it's a siege. You're going to lose men. We need to strike first, strike hard, man. Cobra Kai never dies. Once our men are up, it's an, it's fine. Because our men are just better. But it's getting them up that's the problem. It shouldn't be a problem, but it is. So, like, look at that. That was perfect. They got up the ladder fine there. And then they, and they all bug out again. Alright, now we're injured, which means if we get caught in a battle, we can't actually help. It's kind of a problem. I've got to get up like 20%, 30% I think in health so that we can at least be a part of this next battle. Because this next battle is 100% going to hinge on us. Alright, excellent. Sure, we'll take some prisoners. Okay, this, this is a spooky, spooky battle. Um, those arrows look amazing, so I'm going to lock them. Cracked ranger bow. Alrighty. Seaguard castle has taken, the election has started. The new owner of Seaguard Castle. Oh, hold on, which one makes people like this more? Party morale increase, so Jason Malister won't like me. Loyalty goes down, total building levels reduced. We get a lot of gold, but... We show mercy. Manage garrison? No, 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 don't really want to manage the garrison. It's not really what I'm here for. What we want to do is go to dungeon, manage prisoners, and 
dump them all. Delilah. Three year olds over there playing with a kitten. Yeah, you're playing with the kitty. party. We'll make some kingdom decisions here in a second. I think we're going to keep that castle because I don't even know if we're going to hold it <coughs> at this point. And later on, that's going to be a big um, point of contention for the actual battles themselves. We're going to be fighting there a lot, I think. Both from the north and from the south, most threats will arrive at the Twins and at, um, what's it called? Yeah, the twins and at that castle. Seaguard castle or whatever it is. I'm doing this the really slow way. Please forgive me, people. Uh, this, 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 this. If you're enjoying the content so far, guys, drop a like, comment, um, subscribe if you're if you're wanting to see more of it. Um, really keen. You're not going to want to miss the new update when it comes out. Trust me on that. Ironborn recruits get more axes in there. Riverland soldiers will just get a bunch of soldiers. Veil vale soldiers, damn straight. We will accept. I think I'd rather go. Yeah, we'll go Aaron soldiers. Get some Andal recruits. The Vale just has so many areas to recruit from, it's insane. I'm expecting raids to start popping up over here. We own the land, so I expect it to get raided by our opponents at the Riverlands. Now, the other thing we need to do is... Wait, hold on. Kingdom. We have decision to make. Seagull Castle. Um, diplomacy. Now, Targaryens are all the Freys. They're all the us and the free folk. Uh, and the I uh, fucking Boltons. The Ironborn are all the Lannisters and us. Never going to work for them. And the Riverlands are at war with Dawn, the Lannisters, and us. Okay, actually, they may have 20,000 more men than us. But, and this is a big but, we still have a chance to beat them. They can't bring their full force to bear on us, I don't think. Not without losing so much territory. Like, if they bring their entire army against us, I'm going to tell you right now, they're more than likely going to lose... Willowwood, Faircastle, and all up here. They'll get crushed. <clears throat> Looks like Castamere has fallen to House Lannister. The rebellion of House Castamere, of House Rain was crushed. Over here we have House Estrin of the Westerlands. See what I mean? High Garden, held by the Westerlands. House Spicer. Um, House Rowan still holds Golden Grove. They're currently losing it. Cider Hall, owned by Dawn. So yeah, this is owned by Dawn. The Reach, Tyrell. Ah, oh, so their Tyrells have lost basically everything except for Old Town. House of Florent has that, and oh, this is a real shit show. Westerlands. It's currently yeah, the Westerlands hold a lot down here, dude. A lot. The main competitors to their power are these guys. Hope you're not coming to recruit troops, because this is my land now, bro. That's a big army, though. So what we need to do is take hostile action, force to give recruits. Fine, we just raid. Bam, done. 
I'll take my recruits now if I can. No, not gonna give me recruits now probably. You probably killed too many of their young men, not gonna lie. So we'll just take all their stuff instead. Far more productive. Ah, we can still pinch some recruits. Thanks for the men, dudes. What nice guys giving us more recruits to fuel our war machine against them. Now, that army is 100% marching to the twins or to the castle we just took. So what we're going to do is leave because we can't fight them yet. Oh no, the army's not even marching on us. Amazing. Owner of Seaguard Castle. Myself. Sorry, Saloon the Alone, but I've given you... Uh, two cities now. I will take the castle. Thank you. <clears throat> House Targaryen doesn't possess the strength to beat us, nor the Free Folk or the Iron Islands. Our main focus will be in the south. Trying to hold Hosta Tully and the rest of the Riverlands at the Twins and Seaguard. What am I doing? I'll give you a quick rundown, Delilah. What I'm currently doing is I'm trying to stop an all-out invasion of the north. What are you doing? I'm just doing chess, like all the way down the top. That's pretty cool. Chessy, where are you? Oh, that army's coming. Get across the... No, oh, I was going to try and get across the river. Wait. Theon Greyjoy is besieging Seaguard? Excuse me? With how many men? Well, not many. <laughs> Clearly. Um, Theon... I know it's not a very well defended castle yet, but you don't need to do that, bro. Committing suicide is just not the answer. You're the last lord of the Greyjoys. I need you to surrender. Da 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 We'll wrap up the episode up at the end of this battle, I think, and then we'll open it up at the start of next episode. We'll start her up with the epic battle for the twins. Looks like it's about to start unfolding. Bring my archer force to here. Supported by the infantry line. Nice thick infantry line. Oofed. Bro. That poor cavalry line. <laughs> Amazing. Horse archers, everybody. Horse archers. Our very large cab force we've gathered. Alrighty, lads, push on up. What have they got? Oh. Hit the windows button, not the right one. All right, they've got 73 archers. We've got 210 on the field. We should absolutely shred them in an archer battle. Also, our newer archers are gonna need more experience, so. Who are these guys? Whatever these are, they're pacey as hell. Freys, wildlings, Tully hunters, Riverlands champions. Okay, fair. But they were fast as heck, man. Made everyone else look like they were standing still almost. Alright. Bowman. Move. Infantry. Behind. Right. 
that. We just not got clear shots. I think that was it. I just don't have a clear shot currently. Right, reposition to there. Infantry move over here. Bro, this is one slippery army. These Greyjoys do not want to fight us. They are really not keen on this plan. Well, at this range, we should absolutely shred them. If their cavalry attempts to ride in, they are going to get the same treatment, I believe. I think they will just get shredded. Ha! Ah, shield wall's great, unless you're against a larger mass of infantry, and then you're just surrounded. Should have formed a circle, buddy. Should have formed a circle. Probably would have lived longer. What I'm doing here is getting some health back, so that I don't get stuck with having to send my troops into a battle of large size where I could spare hundreds of them. The battle is over. We have won! I don't know if anybody heard that little voice line from Tywin Lannister, but that was pretty cool. Alright guys, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. For now, we are done.